Here's a problem that gives you some information about a particle at various times and positions. And the problem asks about uh, average velocity and its average speed. First, let's take care of the average velocity. Now, the average velocity, by definition, is going to be equal to the particle's net change in position divided by its change in time. This is fairly easy to calculate with the information that's given to us. That can basically be thought of as the particle's final position minus its initial position divided by its final time divided by or minus its initial time. So in the context of this problem, its final time is 8.5 centimeters, subtracting its initial its initial position, 4.8 centimeters, and we'll divide this by its final time, 4.5 seconds minus its initial time, which is a negative number, so I'll put it in parentheses, that's two point, negative 2.0 seconds. And we plug this into our calculator, and we find an initial, or an average velocity of 0 0.57 centimeters per second. So that is the average velocity for the particle. Now the second part of the problem asks us whether or not we can calculate the average speed. We calculated the velocity, but now we are asked about the speed. Now, this is something where you'll have to consider what the difference is between velocity and speed. Remember that in the case of velocity, since velocity is a vector, we think of it in terms of displacement. So the velocity of a particle is going to be based only on its initial and final position, and not whatever it does in between. Distance is different, however, because that does take into account what uh, the particles did before and after the, the initial and final points. If a particle moves from point A to point B, and it travels in some crazy wild direction to get from one point to the other, then velocity is only concerned with the straight line distance between them. It's only concerned with the before and after. But we can't say anything about the distance unless we know, unless we have information about the, the squiggly, crazy direction it took to get there. So the answer to the question is no. We cannot calculate the average speed from this data. And as for why or why not, as for the reason why, it's because to calculate the average speed, we need to know the actual distance traveled and not just the beginning and final position, because we don't know what it could have done in between. So that is the best way to answer this problem. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out. Um, I've got a Discord server linked in the description below Thank you, uh, if you have requests for future videos or you just like to talk more in general. But that is all for this video and I hope it helped you out. So thank you very much for watching and have a good night. Bye bye.